How are we going, everyone? I'm doing some pruning on our spalier trees. I know we've uh, done this a few times in the past and even recently, but with the warm weather that we've had, this stuff here has taken off. See all the new lime green growth here? All that is new growth. In the last month, month and a half, we've had all this growth come on. And this is the lime tree that I'm doing it at the moment. The idea with an espalier, for those who haven't seen this before, it's a fan shape uh, and the aim is to try and avoid overlapping branches. So if you've got a branch growing across here, you don't want one sitting over the top. Short term is okay, but you can see how congested it can be. So the aim is to try and thin out any additional branches. This is a new growth. We don't need to take that one off right at the bottom here. Got rid of that. Now that one there as well, if you can see closely in here, we've got one, two, three branches, all in the same cluster there, all interfering with each other. We're not gonna get any fruit here. I mean, you can get fruit, but not like this. So I'm just gonna get rid of all three of them at this stage. I don't really need, and I don't mind having a little bit of light there. I don't need this to go there. Well, in fact, I can probably get that to try and fruit for us. It may put on a bit of growth or a flower. If it doesn't, then we'll just remove it completely and it'll look like that. Now here also, mind you, I should have mentioned, this espalier is two-sided. Normally you do them against, you know, a fence line, back wall, side wall of a house or down a pathway. But because here I've got access to both sides, I haven't got a fence on one side, I don't have to worry about just shaving that off. I need to actually clean it properly on the side, on the blind side, let's say. So both sides have to be treated equally and given the space to grow. Now, I can't have it only grow on the front side because you can see some growth. That's on the back, but this is growth on this side. I'm gonna double up on the other end as well. So here we're gonna have maybe two rows, maybe not quite side by side as they are, but we will have two rows. Now at the moment I've got more than two. This is congested. I can barely tell what's going on. And I have, have I taped this down in the past? No, I haven't. I have it here, look at this. Let's go on the other side so we can clean this properly. Look at the side wall here. Don't look at the first plant here. It's the one that we've been working on. See how nice and close to the actual mesh it's been cut back? So have a close look at that. Then come around here, have a look at this now. This is a side I haven't treated yet. See, that's the growth coming out of the fence line. This has all got to get cut back as well. Oh, before we go there, just here, this is the mandarin. Remember we trimmed the mandarin? You can see where we clipped it last time and put it on Onto the, way, on, onto the rails. Now we've got more growth coming on, that needs to go there. But look at all this growth here. Now I'm gonna let this grow through. We've had a little bit of burning here, that's okay. We'll clean that up, actually we just cut that off now. So that already has shown a tremendous amount of growth. And we had all that leaf curl on it. While it's nice and clean, nice and vibrant, we'll let this grow out and we'll take some of this off later on, but still early stage. It's still too soft to actually prune that back. Whereas this one here, we had a heap of fruit last time. Look at this. And we've got more fruit coming on again. So there was fruit there, fruit there. There were fruit here. There really isn't any other fruit at the moment, but what we need to do is clean all this up. Outward growth, we've got nowhere to clip that on. I can't stick it on there like that. It's gonna look ugly. So I'm just gonna keep cutting it back short and hopefully it'll do what this one here is doing for us. Where's the fruit? start flowering like that and fruiting so we get little fruit off here we'll get some little fruit well from this as well we can't look at that did you hear that I nearly cracked it so I've got to cut that off as well so that's no good so all this outward growing stuff comes out this especially has to come off that belongs there and we've got way too much in here way too much let's thin it down we don't need that up there we'll cut that down cut that short let me finish this folks and then I'll show you the finished result. So it looks like a fan without too many overlapping branches. Getting a bit thick here now. We've got to thin this out, thin this out. Give me a couple of minutes. We're getting there folks. Looking a lot better. Look at this open shape. Now I've twisted this one down a bit too far. I'll clip it back up there actually. I'll just put it here like that. Just being a little bit creative, folks, a little bit arty. We haven't got it all completed yet, but it's a far lot better than what it was when we first started. 
So leave it to nature, it'll bush out, become a nice big shrub, as they all do. But if we're going to be creative and use our little man mind, <laughs> well, it's a little bit lopsided, isn't it? Look at that, it's going to the one side. That'll come along. Don't be sort of deterred, Vasily, you'll be right. She'll be fine and the whole thing will fill up and hopefully we'll be able to pick fruit off that. Now, it's required to thin out your plants at this time of the year, folks. We're talking about summer pruning on fruit trees. There's also a little bit of pruning to be done and maintenance on your citrus trees. Not a hell of a lot. Don't go crazy, crazy and ballistic because when you prune them too hard, all in the one go, the tree goes into a growth spurt. So you'll lose a cycle of flowering. They should have flowered and set fruit by now and they start to ripen. You can see here on the orange tree, we have got oranges all over this one here. One one, two, three, four, five, as I could see in front of me. There's a few more on the other side, so not overly full, but again, this already needs to be pruned as well. So all this has got to come off, folks. It's becoming too bushy. It's not an espalier where it just bushes out and goes straight up. If I come to the side now here, I can see how beautifully flat it is, and we're going to get the other side to grow out a bit more. And then we're going to be a little bit more gentle with the pruning and hopefully we can get our, our fruit clusters to develop on these little short spurs that I'm creating here, hoping the flowers will come on in time. So in the early stages, if you're keen to get fruit on your trees early, don't prune. Let them grow out of control and get really messy. But they still need to be fertilised. But if you're keen to get the structural integrity of your tree in place first, allow it to fruit some. But don't be scared to prune a branch off that may have a fruit on it that you don't need the branch. So you can wait if you like or just remove it and get on with the shaping of the tree. So then once it's structurally sound, you can get it to fruit as much as you like without having to prune it so heavily all the time. Now feeding, plenty of food for the citrus trees. I like using compost obviously, worm castings, a bit of charcoal um, and manure, chicken manure and obviously our black grid, that's a given there. And liquid feeding, EK Butch and Liquid Gold, do it every fortnight if you like and in pot plants especially on the hot seasons, during the hot seasons they do need an extra feed. So check all that stuff out if you need something for your garden on our website VasilisGarden.com, our VIP uh, magazine subscription has been reduced dramatically folks, it's down to $24.95. Subscribe to the magazine and get access to all the VIP areas on the website where you'll enjoy endless amount of fun and entertainment and learning too. That's VasilisGarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi.